hello friends welcome to c sharp intermediate to advanced tutorial now you are watching part 3 of the sub series c sharp containers now let us look at the form design for the c sharp container panels example so these are all the slides from previous two videos So this is the example we want to create. Before that, we will uh, uh, learn how to place the panel control inside the form. After that, how we can add controls inside this panel. So this will be helpful to establish a relationship between panel and its uh, child controls at a design time. But when we go through the application, we will add controls dynamically using this add label to panel and remove label from panel buttons. So the description uh, about this example was already uh, given in the previous part. Now let's go to the form design and learn something. Here our Visual Studio IDE is ready. First we will create a new project. Uh, this is just for test purpose. So let me keep some name test then Windows application. Let me give it as a test one. So this will be our form and this form will act as a top level container. So to place a panel container, you have to go inside the containers, then click on the panel, drag and drop it here. So once this is done, you can do the resize by using these uh, uh, white squares. So if we want to move this panel, you can use this uh, marker here in the top left click on this then you can move your panel anywhere in your form so this example requires one panel and then two group box so we have to place all these controls like this and use the drag and drop option if you need you can resize it and reposition all right now we have one form that is acting as a top level container then we have one panel after that we have two group boxes so totally this example contains four container one is the top level container which is the form and that form contains three more container one is panel and the other two is a group box containers there are two containers here Okay, to place some control inside the panel, you can drag and drop the controls. And if you see here, we have button one and button two. Similarly, inside the group box, if I drop it, we will have two more button. You can place any control. For demo purpose, I'm just dragging and dropping the button controls. Now, these two button, button one, button two is managed by panel control and button 3 4 is managed by group box 1 and 5 and 6 is managed by group box 2 so that's how when you move the group box you can see it moves the child also so here the children's 5 and 6 are moved along with the group box the same goes for the other group box and same goes for the panel control also so if you find difficulty in selecting this panel you can always go to the property then from here you can select the panel then you can move it if you see here group box by default comes with a title panel is also like a group box but it won't show any title all right now we have the basic idea of how you can establish a relationship between container and its control 
first place the container then drag and drop the controls inside that container so this will establish the relationship between the container and its uh, contained controls so here is our uh, example form design and if you see we placed a container control then we named it as a pan top pan that means panel top panel and you can see the type is panel here we changed the background color for color we changed it to maroon that's how the uh, label which we place inside this uh, uh, panel inherits the same property if you see this is also maroon now so in the previous uh, uh, series that means in the group box series we already talked about the container and its child control behavior whatever property you assign that you will get inherited to the child so here we set four color to maroon that's how the control added inside this panel contains the same four color all right we set the four color then location and size you can design uh, as you like or if you want to uh, set the same then you can note down the location 312 under this one so then courier we set it as a courier new 14.25 point you can set any font you need all right pan top pan type is panel so that's the panel we have a design time control inside it that means a design time label added inside this panel container next we have two button one is add label to panel and we gave a name between add label similarly for this button we gave median remove label text we gave remove label from panel similarly for this we gave text add label to panel so all other uh, properties are not important and you can choose your own back color and other stuff next so this one is actually a group box and if you see text we removed it here we kept it as empty but still it shows a border here on the top so this is one more group box uh, control there are two group box control you can see this is group box one and this one is a group box two so inside the group box we kept a checkbox named ch key auto size and auto size for this um, uh, checkbox we set it as true then text allow size for panel that was given then inside this group box we have two radio buttons the first radio button is named as rad grow only the second one is named as rad grow shrink so two radio buttons added inside our uh, group box one so for these two also we set auto size as true auto size is true and this one also auto size equal to true if you see here the group box doesn't have any auto size we kept it as false but for other controls we set auto size as a true okay this part is over now we will go to the next group box it contains a auto scroll and the name is chk auto scroll so before that if you see this is rad grow only and this one is rad grow and shrink that's what the name we gave it so here auto scroll chk auto scroll is the checkbox auto size is set to true then we have location and size that we decided uh, okay we will leave that for you so you can decide the location and size because when you move it will change this location and when you resize this will also change if you want to mimic same size or same design you can choose this otherwise you can resize it as you like then uh, text we gave it as uh, auto scroll next these two are just a label width and height 
after that we have a text box txt width and txt height this will design the margin for our scroll at uh, runtime next we have one more checkbox checkbox one we have in named it we accepted the default then we named this as top to top then we have some informational text that means validation is not done for these two width and height so we are saying best type numbers so this is just for learning purpose so if you type some text it will throw some error and we have not validated that all right so that's all the form design here uh, going forward we will start implementing the example that's all here in this uh, video thank you for watching bye